Uh, you might have missed this. A couple of weeks ago, Mel and I, the other Mel, didn't get to go to London for the premiere of the absolute fabulous movie, but fashionista Colin Mathura Jeffrey did, along with our producer Alex. And they happened to meet up with the movie's director, Mandy Fletcher. This is what she had to share with us. So, yeah, congratulations. You've worked on so many comedies. You've directed so many amazing things like Blackadder and Miranda. What's so special about Absolutely Fabulous? Do you know what I love about it? Is it is just this extraordinary universal friendship. Those two women, regardless of the adversity, always stick together. And I, I enjoy that. I think that's fabulous. And uh, just beyond the movie, beyond the friendship in the movie, they're friends in life. You're all friends, aren't you? Yes. They've been doing these characters for 25 years. I'm the new girl. But they really are. They'll go out to dinner with each other. I'm working for the next day, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what can people expect from Absolutely Fabulous, the movie? What I hope they'll get is a visual feast of glitter and bling, because I think they deserved that, and I wanted to give that to the film. Also, there's a rollicking good story, and it motors. I was very aware how lots of comedies go a little flat in the middle, and I wanted it to have just so much to look at and so much happening that in the end, you'll come to the end and think, oh, that was quick. Well, it is. It's an incredible visual feast. And then you have so many celebrity appearances. Honestly, the celebrities, you know, they're all busy people, but we managed to sort them all in. They all wanted to be there. That's the big thing. What's crazy about it is uh, they're so willing to take the piss out of themselves, you know, have fun Aren't about themselves. Aren't they wonderful? Themselves. Don't you love Jerry Hall? Oh, Jerry Hall going on and on, on and on, on about on himself. About, about <laughs> himself. I know, and you just love, I love people, but, and they are on the whole, everyone is up for that. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's not a usual thing that you expect from celebrity. You know how they are so self-preserved and fearful, and here they are just going crazy about themselves. And this film gives that liberty and freedom, doesn't it? It really does give that liberty and freedom. And also, I hope that people will enjoy watching it a second time, because I believe there will be cameos that they might have missed the first time. I mean, very few people see Tiny Tempest sitting on the front of the um, fashion show at the very beginning. Wow, fantastic. I know, I know. How about that? And what a journey, you know, right down to the south of France. How was that shooting there? Fantastic. That was the first two weeks we did. Did. And I love it because that was their dream. That was when they were at the height of their powers. And to take them back there, I think is lovely. It, 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 I think as well as being funny brings a tear to your eye that they're suddenly feeling so good about themselves again. Yeah, it's wonderful. And I, I just love the, the, the hidden messages, or not so hidden messages within that movie about friendship, about family, about love. And those about moments. About getting fat and old. Yeah, and accepting it. <laughs> accepting it. And uh, are we going to expect a sequel? I, I don't, I would, well, let's see how this goes, shall we? <laughs> how do you think it's going to go? I, I was saying just before you, I, I spoke to you that actually when I go to the premiere, it'll be the first time I've actually seen the film because I've looked at tiny little bits. I'm looking at visual effects shot. I'm listening to sound. It'll be extraordinary to sit in a cinema with an audience and just see what they make of it. Well, I'm holding the premiere in New Zealand for 700 people myself, CMJ and Cinema, and I know so many people are coming, wanting to come along, and also beyond the movie, they're wanting to have their groups of girlfriends and everything and go along, so this movie's already set in stone. Yes, I have, well, I have to say that all, all of my friends that aren't coming, I mean, they seem to be going to the cinema in groups of 10, having had about five bottles of Prosecco before they go. <laughs> so, do you know, how can you lose? Well, exactly, and this is a celebration. You yes, know. and we need it. It's, you know, dark times, and we need a celebration. And I, th I, th I hope people will take it in that vein. Well, what a fantastic lady and great interview, but what did Colin do wrong there, do you reckon? I think it's here. There's something up there. Maybe he had five prosciuttos or something before. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like him. <laughs> You're right. He'll be gutted when he watches that back, definitely. <laughs> uh, if you would like to want to go and see the AbFab movie, and why wouldn't you, make sure you head along to our website, thecafe.co.nz, for the chance to win one of five double tickets to walk the red carpet at the New Zealand premiere.